Hi everybody, thanks for watching. It's Alex here from WPEagle.com and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to add different sidebars for certain pages on your website. So you might have some pages on your site where you need to add some different widgets to um, the general sidebar or maybe certain categories in your blog or maybe even certain blog posts. So I'm gonna install um, a plugin today and we're gonna set it up. It shouldn't take too long, so uh, let's get started. So the plugin we're gonna go for is um, by WooThemes. It's called Woo Sidebars and it's free. You do need to have an account on WooThemes.com to download, but that only takes two seconds and that's free too. So I've already downloaded the plugin and I've already installed the plugin onto the WP Eagle test site. So let's have a look. Once you've installed the plugin, um, you get some extra options in the appearance area. So what I wanna do is if we look at the front of the site, I've got two pages, I've got page A and page B, there's nothing on them at the moment, but they have got this sidebar, which is just the main sidebar. And we're just running on the, the standard uh, 2012 team, 2012, I think, yeah, 2012 theme here. So, um, okay, so I want a different sidebar for page A and a different sidebar for page B. So in the dashboard, under appearance and widget areas, this is the new option that's been added by the plugin, we can now add a new widget area. So let's call it, I don't know, page A sidebar. And then we can select which pages that we want this sidebar to appear on. Obviously I want it to appear on page A. And it gives you um, an option of the sidebar to replace. And obviously it depends on the sidebars that you've got with your themes. Maybe they have one across the top in the footer and you can select which one. So for this theme, it's just the main sidebar. So I'm gonna click publish. And I'm now gonna add one for page B. Exactly the same process, page B sidebar. And what this is doing is creating a new sidebar um, in the widgets area. So um, we'll go in there now into appearance and widgets. You've probably been in here before. And now we can see our new sidebars are here. So let's put just a text widget into the page A and put it, can make it say page A widget. Save that. And let's do the same for page B. Let's add another widget and call this page B widget. And click save. And that should be all done. So let's go and have a look. Let's have a look at page B. Let's refresh. Hey, there's our widget. And if we go to page A, there's our page A widget. So pretty straightforward. Can get it done in a couple of minutes. Hope that was useful. If you've got any questions, comments, or thoughts, then you know leave them in the boxes below, and I will see you soon. Like and subscribe if you want some more. See you later.